bear with me. I'm not going to be watching um what people are writing. Just setting up. Happy Valentine's Day. Please go on Twitter and share hashtag troll for love. Follow that hashtag. And you'll see a video to Kanye West and Taylor Swift. I might be here till midnight when Valentine's Day is over. This is for a good cause, for sickle cell education. supposed to tweet this joint. I haven't used this for a while. I should have been using it. But it's all good. I really need to do is talk anyway but what I'm doing right now is um I'm on Twitter I'm trying to get sickle cell awareness out there because you know if you are somebody you're going to be trending today because you give a gift to someone you love and that's all that matters. Love matters. But what is true love? What is compassion? A lot of people do not know what compassion is. I've learned compassion through sickle cell pain, through living my life. in pain. The rejection that you feel. When people abandon you because of the pain that you feel. So, I'm hoping that by doing this, I'm able to bring some attention to sickle cell today. A day where people celebrate love, not hate. Celebrate love, not wealth. Celebrate love, not racism. There's a lot of ignorance out there. There is so much ignorance out there. Kanye West, I don't have any hate for you. I love your music. Taylor Swift, I don't have any hate for you. I love your music. But because you guys are celebrities, you have power. And the power, you use it, you use it for fashion shows. Use it, use it for just mundane stuff. 
music can change the world. You can make a huge impact in shaping our society. That all we do is beef and fight about silly shit. Really silly shit. When you see people dying after suffering for so long. When you see a young child who has not even faced anything in this world but has to battle with sickle cell so often and agonizing pain. We send flowers, we give chocolates, we make love. What is it worth when we say Happy Valentine's Day today? So get at me, Twitter. Troll for love. That's the hashtag. I put a video rant yesterday just to prepare for today of what I was going to do today. What I was going to talk about today. I'm just going to talk all day about my life, about living with sickle cell, about my art, about who I am. I'm nobody. But I have a voice and I hope to make a difference. Si Aisyon ye, m'gen anemi falsiform, m'ap travay la pou fe la tout moun konen ki poblem nou gen. It's been difficult. Just staying alive every day knowing that this pain could come you end up in a hospital on an ICU somewhere fighting for your life this is not a pity party there are thousands in my own area who are suffering today from something there could be somebody with a secret cell crisis right now in the emergency department at my local hospital it's very cold out here so a crisis could occur at any point but sickle cell is all over the world it is global That's why I have to continue this message all day <laughs> and hope that someone hears what I want to share today. So I have to check in for the stream is working just to make sure that it is just to make sure that it is to make sure that it is. It is working. So, let me play you 
the sickle cell challenge inspired by that trending ice bucket challenge everybody would sickle cell that day when the ice bucket challenge started trending it really felt bad man because sickle cell has been around for such a long time discovered a hundred and six years America in America in Chicago no concern for us it's frustrating I live with a hell of a lot of depression fighting always thinking about committing suicide always thinking about just ending the pain ending the suffering but that's not how it needs to go down my mother died when I was 13 a few months before my 14th birthday you know tragic car crash for a 13 year old seeing the only person that gave a damn die in front of you in a car crash seeing your little sister fly to the windshield to bounce off the windshield and land on your lap bleeding on your blue jeans turning it all red why was I the only one wearing my seatbelt those are the nightmares that I deal with those memories those are the only memories I can remember clearly but I cannot remember the days that I spent in ICU fighting for my life fighting to survive I've survived my mother is dead my sister was in a coma for six months my mother was married to a man who never bothered to get up when I was sick at night to carry me to the car and take me to the emergency room, to the hospital, when I have a sickle cell crisis. It was always my mother who got up, climbed the stairs, picked me up, carried me downstairs, put me in the car, and drove me by herself to the emergency room while the husband slept. So when she died, that was it. My sister was in a coma in a hospital, and the man just said, this is not my kid. So I never really was allowed to take care of my little sister like my mother wanted me to. So even now, she survived, my sister survived, but because we grew apart, because I had to leave that house and be shipped somewhere else. I don't really have a relationship with any family members. I am alone. My sister was in a coma for six months. Her brain doesn't remember the days before that time. So she doesn't know the brother that she used to have. So to her, I'm a stranger. She wants to love me. She doesn't remember or have any memories of the days that we used to have before our mother died. She doesn't remember our mother. She just has pictures. It's all fucked up, people. It's all fucked up. The apathy, the lack of concern for suffering in this world. It's all fucked up. So when I that is basically a capitalist system where we spend money, huge amounts of money, and we call it love. It is hard not to feel really depressed about it, really fucked up about it, after so many people have walked away from you because you suffer, because you have pain and they can't handle it.
that's what I've been trying to share with my art. To tell people to pay attention, have some compassion for sickle cell disease because that is the most ignored suffering I've ever seen. Not because of my own suffering. Shit, it is hard for me to ask for anything. But when I have to fight for somebody else, I give it all I have. I'll die for it. That is why I wanted my Twitter account to have a million followers. Not because I actually have a million followers, but I use all the tricks in the book that all these rappers and all these celebrities use to get the people to follow them, to, fo to get their, 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 their um, fashion shows, their selfies, their, their love of shoes, bags, whatever, you name it, whatever the bling is, it's shown. That's what we, we, we respond to. We respond to fashion. Jada Pickett Smith looking hot, sexy. She's beautiful. You're a lucky motherfucker, Will Smith. But I want them to say something about sickle cell disease. These are black people. Ask her so white. You are boycotting not being recognized for your talent. I understand that shit because I'm Mr. Nobody. I'm a painter nobody knows. Nobody gives a fuck about me. I'm, I'm on motherfucking welfare and nobody gives a fuck to give me a ride once a month. Do you think J he worked at Yale? Prestigious motherfucker. NWACP. Black, proud black man motherfucker. But he won't do the dirty work. He won't do anything that cheapens him. The board, anytime that I don't have no motherfucking money, I say, Dolores, look, I need $50 to pay my phone bill because I don't got it. Please tell the board I paid him back next month. Okay. I'm sure she doesn't even fuck with asking them sometimes. I'm sure the board just say, okay, he can do that. So they do that to help me. That's cool. But it is not about how fucked up my local organization is. It is how fucked up all SCDA organizations are because it's competitive to try to get nonprofit cash funding. It's so competitive in this fucking world to try to cure anything. All diseases out there are looking for the same dollars. AIDS, cancer, every motherfucking suffering out there is looking for the same amount of funding from the same sources. So if sickle cell gets something, AIDS is not getting that. You understand? We're taking away something. So, here we go back to ask her so white. The fear of giving black people recognition that you are taking away from white people. Because we are competing. You know, it's human nature. We don't give a fuck. We keep competing until we destroy ourselves. Maybe I'll stop the, the stream. I don't know.
I'm not sure if I'm live anymore anyway. There's always a bunch of sad motherfucking things in this world. Shit that breaks your heart, that makes you depressed, that keeps you depressed. See what I just retweeted right now. So according to this app, there's three people watching. I'll stay because of the three people. If I can reach one person, that's cool. I'm one of the three people watching. So according to this app, there's three people watching. Now there's two people watching. You see how it works? There's two people out there who are watching me right now. You can tap your screen if you are on a phone. And I'll see little hearts on the bottom somewhere to know that you are there. But that's the thing. I'll have to save this video. I'll have to cut right now and other to put the video on YouTube so that when nothing happens today, at least there is a history of nobody giving a shit. So I'll end the stream right now and start a new one after the tweet of the star post, daily star of some white lady giving water to a little African kid. These motherfuckers always making us look really motherfucking fucked up. And we are fucked up. We don't give a fuck about ourselves. We should give a fuck about our own communities. We have the power to change the motherfucking things, but we are evil motherfuckers. Selfish motherfuckers. Oscars so white. Let's recognize our own communities. Let's heal our own communities before we say others do not respect us. Let's respect ourselves. Let's help ourselves. Let's have compassion for our brothers and our sisters, our wives, our husbands. Our mothers, our fathers. Dad, where the fuck are you? Dads, where are you? Why are these women alone? Why, why are they carrying everything? Black men, step the fuck up. Kanye West doesn't care about black people. If Kanye West cared about black people, sickle cell disease would be trending today.
I am nobody. I can't do it. I don't have the influence. I don't have the money. I don't have the power. I only have this pain and this suffering. So that's why I created the hashtag troll for love. I don't have any hate for your success, Kanye West. I just want you to use your art to give a fuck about something real.